Hey, Aaron, thanks for taking the time. Uh, just to follow up on that, is there any difference in feeling for you getting to this point as a manager opposed to when you did it as a player? Um, tough to say. Um, you know, it's a grind either way, you know, going through the, the playoffs and the, f first of all, the season and, and the excitement of getting to the playoffs and, and advancing round after round. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of similarities just in that, you know, you feel the weight of it, um, the excitement of it, the pressure of it. Um, but again, I'm not, I'm not playing between the lines anymore. So there's that difference, but you're still competing, uh, on the biggest stage at the highest level against the best. And there's something that's rewarding and why you do an element to that. Is there anything you're able to take from your playing experience, making it to the world series and the lead up to it that is applicable now as you're preparing? Uh, I don't know. I, I think, I think your experience, you know, hopefully serves you well in everything you do and just makes you more equipped and to to deal with all that's that's going to come with it. Um, but I don't know if there's necessarily anything I specifically take from getting to the World Series 21 years ago as a player that I'm necessarily going to apply today. But but I think I'm a product of my experiences to some degree. Do you look at the personality of this team compared to some of the others? And it seems it's as or more determined. Is it a more fun group because of some of the personalities there or does the success breed that fun? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I feel like we've had a number of teams here that have been, you know, very fun for me to go through all of it with um you know I, I i do think we're here because this is our best team at least at this time of year um that we've had and there's no denying i i feel like culturally speaking we've had really strong situations pretty much year in and year out um i would say it's as strong as it's ever been and I think it's, there's no denying, and I've said this a lot and you hear them talk about it. And I think those of you that cover us witness it, the closeness that these guys um, have with one another and that trite playing for one another is palpable with this group, has been all year, has been since day one. Um, these guys love each other and these guys, um, love doing it for one another. And I always feel like the best team situation you can get into is when you can genuinely say at the end of the year or at any point in the year that not because you desire it, but because this is how you feel is I want it for the guy next to me more than myself. And that exists with this team, I think. And that's powerful. And also is the Cole Rodon Schmidt, kill the order settled the parent because it's there or are you not uh finalized it yet we haven't finalized that i can tell you garrett will pitch game one um and and a, a good chance like you just said we'll roll it out like that but you know we're today's a voluntary day and we're just starting to kind of you know formulate our, our plans and things like that so um we'll see Aaron, a few of your guys, especially uh, Stanton, have talked about, you know, the job isn't done until you win this next round. How important is that mentality? I mean, obviously, everyone who gets there wants to win this World Series. But it, 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 do you feel like because of the history of, of the team and the expectations that you guys have that getting here isn't the biggest thing? It's it's winning it? Um, I don't know. Maybe the history and the expectations all play in that. But I think it's just the competition. Like, we – we set out at the beginning of the year with the goal of being a world champion, you know, and we, we, that's on our doorstep. Now we get to, we're, we're at the last series where we get to play for that. Now um, that's the goal. That's our expectation. Um, we understand we've got a great opponent in our way that has the same goal. Um, but I, you know, we're just looking forward to the competition of it and, and hopefully getting four more wins.
Hey, Aaron, on a Saturday night, you called uh, Soto's at bat and at bat for the ages. I think Yankees fans have been watching and rewatching and studying it nonstop since then. Have you found yourself watching that whole sequence and kind of looking over it and whether finding new things or just marveling at the same things over and over again? Yeah, I've, I mean, I've probably watched the at bat now in in full probably at least a few times. Um, and it it it. It is. I stand by that. That's that's an at bat for the ages, right there. I mean, um, you know, a couple of uncomfortable looking swings in there where he just kind of spoiled and stayed alive, kind of fights himself back, and finally gets a pitch and and does what Juan does with it. Um, you know, it, we've seen that so many times. You know, this one happened to be um, to send us to the World Series. But I feel like there's been so many at bats like that this year, like big spot, game on the line, got a pitch to him, and it's like, man, he just puts he throws a one of those Juan Soto epic at bats on you. And um not surprising in that moment, um that he did it again. And uh he's just obviously an amazing hitter. He, that, that at bat had so many different it, it had the menacing qualities of, of Juan and then I mean yeah. if you look at the celebration the joyful parts of it just I know we talk so much about him as a baseball player the person that you're around and all the different la- layers to him like how much have you enjoyed that part over this I've year I've loved it he's he's he, one thing start with his his love of the game like you, you just get that from him right away you can tell he loves baseball and he loves everything that goes into that the preparation for it um you know the intelligence he has as a hitter um uh his his care about the entire game but also his like his ability to come over here as a big star with obviously a lot of fanfare and a lot of expectation and you know in his free agent year and where all that um he's really just integrated into the clubhouse in short order you know, really starting in spring training so well. And he's just, I hate, I hate to put it this way sometimes. And I've said this over the years about certain guys, but for being Juan Soto and this huge, like he's low maintenance, you know, like I don't have to like, he's, he's easy to be around. He's a good guy. You can coach him, you know, like there's been many times this year in a game or whatever, where I've said something to him, like, Hey, can't, you know, and he, he's not, you know, he takes it and applies it and understands and, you know, cares about all the, all of the things you need to, to be a winning player, not just being a great hitter. Like he cares about his defense. He cares about running the bases. He cares about being a good teammate and sharing information. And, um, and I think he also respects how hard the game is and the grind of the game too. Um, he's been awesome. He really has. Um, I've loved every second of him being here and, uh, you know, hopefully here he's here a long time.